My name is uh, Dr. Moroke. I'm a staff member of Botswana University of Agriculture and Natural Resources in the Department of Crop and Soil Sciences. I'm here at uh, uh, Buang Garden, where we are investigating uh, the, up, the performance of uh, different varieties of upland rice. And in this project, uh, I'm working with uh, graduate students who I'm supervising with, uh, with other fellow uh, staff members of the, of the department. And the students are Winning Choco and Martin De Bruyne, who are, uh, one is working on the performance of upland rice on mineral fertilizers, and the other is investigate the performance of rice under organic fertilizers. This project started in the 2021 season, where we uh, initially just tried to see if rice can grow in Botswana. And indeed, it, it grew, germinated, and uh, grew all the way to maturity, seed maturity that is. Good day, my name is Wenin Choga. I am currently doing my master's degree in soil science. Currently, I am doing the effect of inorganic fertilizer on upland rice, which is new here in this country. So what I'm trying to do, because soil fertility is one of the limitations of crop production in our country, I am trying to find out uh, the optimum rate of nitrogen that we need in order for us to grow rice. Because like I mentioned earlier, our soils are very very poor in nitrogen. Currently, our farmers, when they, pr when they plant, they do what is called blanket application. They apply any amount across the whole field. So this project here, I'm going to find out at the end that how much nitrogen am I going to need to apply according to the three varieties that I'm currently using. I have three upland uh, rice varieties that I'm currently uh, doing on. My, my name is Martin Debrain. Uh, I'm a Master of Science student in Botswana University of Agriculture and Natural Resources in the Department of Crops and Soil Sciences. I'm a major of soil science. I'm currently working with Dr. Moroke. He is my supervisor and we are dealing with the production of upland rice. This study is currently focused on the effect of organic fertilizer, specifically bioslurry, and we are trying to assess its effect on rice production. Uh, it's still at an infant stage, but so far it's doing very well as compared to synthetic fertilizers. Um, this rice was planted on the end of December, which is 25th of December to be specific, and it is ready for harvest. Rice requires a lot of water, but this is basically upland rice. We supplement it with irrigation. We are trying to look at the effects on our environment and on the soil to be specific. There are other management practices that you have to go through, like weeding. And when it came to the flowering stage, that's where we saw uh, the rice being attacked by different pests. Then uh, in school, we have the pathologists and the entomology that were there to assist us with pesticides and herbicides. And as well as the, the, when the rice is about to, to become mature at the milking stage, when you press it, it becomes like a milky substance coming out of it and that is where the beds also started inviting themselves hence why we have uh, the net shade here so that we try to cap the effect of the beds so this is a very a very important uh, project because uh, from the results here, we are going to know how much we are going to need and we are going to know how much we are going to produce at the end. And I say that uh, rice is important in the aspect that it can be used for diversification. You know that in our country we do mostly maize and sorghum. So rice can also be part of that because uh, as many of us, I grew up knowing that only rice, rice is produced mainly where there is water. So 
I came to learn and understand that rice can also be planted in dry conditions. I did it myself and this shows that we can diversify our cereals in this country and try to reduce the importation which will at the end also in, uh, reduce the importation bill. So once the rice has been sown and ready to harvest uh, approximately at 120 days, the grains should be brown in color or straw color like this. And when they are falling like this, it means that they are ready for harvest. Once they are harvested, we are going to dry them, sun dry them, and then thresh them by removing the grains from the panicle. Once they are removed, we will mill them to remove the husks. And then from there we'll get brown rice. When they are further milled, we'll get white rice. So this is the, the finished product of the rice harvest once after the milling process is done. It is possible that we can grow rice in our country. We are doing here, we did it, and we are still going to continue to do it. Thank you.